This time we're gonna drop you and I'm not sure. He's on the floor near the window.
You heard the gate blow up after you were hit. You sure of that? Yes, sir. Whoever hit me was already inside. Put a trace on those first thing in the morning. Roger, we can take this fellow away as far as I'm concerned. Not just yet. Any vehicles missing? Maybe he blew the gate to get out. My car is here. Well, we're not interested in your car. What about the others? All the wheeled vehicles are here. What about Mr. Bishop's car? When I came on duty, his car wasn't here. And when I checked this floor twice a night, I didn't see him. William Martin, the assistant manager. Uh, te technically the vice president, yes, sir. How did you find him? At his home. It looks like we woke him up. Mr. Martin, we don't consider you a suspect, and you don't have to talk to us if you don't want to. Well, naturally, I want to help. If I can. Okay. Mr. Bishop was shot twice in the back of the head and through the neck. One bullet is still in the chest cavity. The other is stuck in the wall over there. Apparently, he was bent over studying those papers on the desk. You might want to take a look at it. We manufacture most of our furniture, but some of it we buy from Hong Kong. Uh, it's a cost study. Well, was that important enough for him to work on tonight? Apparently. Did you know he was going to work tonight? No. Hmm? No, no, I didn't. Uh, do you mind if we talk somewhere else? Sure. Okay, Doc, you can take it away now. Inspector Picora, I'm Lieutenant Tibbs. You the same? What? Oh, I... Well, I, I... I I left a few minutes early today. John was still here. He hadn't said anything about working, not to me, anyway. We understand his car wasn't here tonight. Well, that, that could be. It's one of those sport cars. He, he's always having a tune. He might have come by taxi. We'll check that. I suppose he had no enemies. They never do. I can't say John won friends in the train, but he was respected. There's always robbery, but his wallet didn't seem to have been disturbed. Is there anything in that office that anybody might want? <coughs> Business secrets, Mr. Martin. Anything like that? Well, nothing important enough to kill for. Uh, let's take a look. Take him in the elevator. Actually, we checked out the desk. Would you mind opening it? Well, I don't know. I mean, shouldn't there be uh, formalities, a, a search warrant or something? You said you wanted to help. Well, okay, I guess. But I really... He never would have shown us the ball if we hadn't pushed him into it. So, how do we know nothing was stolen? Yes, you're sure. Yes, they're just coming in now. Bullets don't match. Well, 38 spits, two different guns. Apparently, two people didn't like Mr. Bishop. Well, what do you got on him? Oh, by the way, the layout of the package just came in. Uh, he had no prison record. He had a good army record. He was married 16 years. He was with the company for 10 years. He was manager for the last six years. He owns 12% of the stock. And most of that is bonuses. That's all we have right now. What does Mrs. Bishop say? She's on the sedation. We probably can't get a statement until tomorrow. The watchman still sticks to his story. Officer Ferrelli heard the explosion at 2.12, but wasn't sure of the location. It took him four minutes to spot the blown gate. So, if they blew it to get in, all they had was four minutes. Not much time to get around those alarms on the lower floors. The lab says that the window glass was cut from the outside. Five stories up. Yes. Yes, thank you. 
One moment, please, Mr. Alford. Okay, thank you. Mr. Alford and Mr. Mills are here. Andre. Bob Alford. I'll start with you. I'm getting leery of these offshore funds. I suggest we sell 10,000 shares in old U.S. What's your opinion? Uh, give me a moment, Bob. Uh, there is something I want to check on that. The entire San Francisco stock has been stolen. John Bishop has been liquidated. Yes, my information seems to indicate a sell. I agree. Now to regular matters. You have the joint venture agreement with Yugoslavia handy. We must assume we have been penetrated. We are sending all Dauphin personnel out of the country on trumped-up errands. We want five thoroughly reliable men sent here at once. Usual covers. Our production system must be increased at the Turin plant. We believe Giovanni should be replaced. I'd like everybody's opinion on that. I suggest Guido Malatesta to replace him, even if we have to buy Guido's company to get him. All existing heroin from Marseille refinery and increased purchases of raw opium in Turkey, regardless of price. Jack and I agree on Malatesta. What do you think? We agree, Bob. Okay. Same time, day after tomorrow. Jesus, have we been penetrated? Mm. If I know Bob, God help the smart bastards who did it. Well, what would you think of it? Of what? The mm. facts lecture. It was all right, I guess. The man said that you guys may have some questions. I mean, any of it you didn't already know. Well, maybe not in those words. Well, sex is a pretty big subject, man. I mean, you think there was something you didn't know about it? You didn't know, damn it. Boy, that AJ ain't supposed to know as much as he wants me to think he knows. Well, maybe AJ doesn't consider you an authority on sex. Oh? Well, how about you? Well, of course, I'm from the older, more innocent generation. Of course. <laughs> but I'll do my best to build your image with it. <laughs> Sergeant, tips. Pick me up in ten minutes. I'll tell you then. Virgil, please. Honey, there's some guy who wants me to walk down Corning Street alone, 2600 block at 745. And you're gonna go? Don't worry, Corning's a very busy street. Now, fix me that sandwich. They used plastic explosive. Flashlight batteries, a cheap alarm clock in them. Not much chance of changing that. What have you got on Bishop's assistant, William Martin? Respectable record. Anyway, the timing makes it almost impossible. We don't know anything about the timing. If you forget the explosion, the time of death was a guess. Keep digging in that corporation. Usually those businesses have two or three principal owners. Stop short of the intersection I walk around the corner. It's 7.43. Give me half an hour. Don't even poke your nose on Corning until 8.15. If you still know, show. Call in and give it to the department. Okay, I finally hit the exacto, and he like pays me half. You're lucky he paid you anything. Half an hour. It's time enough.
thought you were still in the Marines. Time flies, Lieutenant. I think you know the Reverend, too. Dave Thomas, right? You had that mission on Turk Street. I still have. Of course, I do a little moonlighting, driving a truck. Let me introduce you around. Uh, Annie Sakiro, San Francisco State Women's Strike Team. Charlie Blossom, Paul Boredere. Stacy Baker, sells sporting goods day, studies law nights. And Joe Perales. If you're also clean, why the mumbo jumbo? We were clean. We, uh, we took the Century Furniture Factory last night. Whatever the deal is, no deal. But as God's our witness, and my word as a minister, we didn't kill Bishop. Heroin, Mr. Tibbs. Scab, smack. About $4 million worth wholesale, and this is just half of it. More than you cops have picked up in 50 years. And you know why? Because none of you bastards want to. Easy, easy. You're not exactly on friends, you know. What's that truck taking in San Francisco in one year? 50 million in the whole country, billions. You stick with stupid. You be careful. Mr. Tibbs, no one's accusing you personally. As you and I both know, organized crime can't operate without police in the act. I'll tell you why we give a damn. My old man's been on Skag ever since I can remember. 50 bills a day. So he stole. We all did. Ma, the kids, everybody. My baby sister. Oh, dear. 15 years old, brother. She dead. When I got out of the Marines, nobody welcomed home the boys from Vietnam. So I said, screw him. I started pushing grass. I was good. They made me a carrier. I pushed hard stuff all over, so I was hardly home. Then one night, I found my kid brother. And with Joe, it was his girlfriend. Charlie Blossom, his brother. What do you want? A swap? Heroin for immunity? Mr. Tibbs, we're out to destroy the organization. And don't tell us we can, because we know a lot more about them bastards than you do, and we got more guts. What do you call yourselves, vigilantes? We don't call ourselves vigilantes. We want to help you, and we need your help. Why do you think we blew the gate? Tell me. We wanted to attract your attention to the Century Furniture Company. We knew that they wouldn't report the theft. We thought maybe that you'd discover the place was a front and take it from there. That's why we left the vault open to tip you off that there had been something in it. John Bishop get there. We took him there to open the vault. You kidnapped him. And why worry about murder? He wouldn't have talked. We left him there alive, handcuffed to the chair. Mr. Tibbs, we're not going to tell you anymore. Not until we're sure that you're with us. Get it? Why? We need your help. The law says you're all criminals. I can't do that. The hell you can! Cops do it every day in the week. That's with department's knowledge. You expect me to tell them I want to protect six self-confessed kidnappers in possession of $4 million worth of heroin. Simple, don't tell them. What do you think the organization is doing right now? They are looking for that stuff. You keep underestimating us. What I know, all of us know. Time's up. If you're smart, you'll turn that stuff over to me. Or I'll pour it down the drain. If you were worth your goddamn most, you wouldn't chicken. Be a joke.
anything? No. We missed dinner for nothing. An informer I used to know. I'd... Cost me five bucks for some useless information. <laughs> Captain Grayson shot himself last night. Did he leave a note or anything? Just a goodbye to his wife. Damn it, I know what you're all thinking. All of you. Just because the guy's in the narcotics division, he had to be on the take. Well, you're going to have to prove it to me. Thank you. Almost lost it. Thank you. Somebody's lying. Mrs. Bishop said she drove Bishop to the factory after dinner. She's afraid to admit we took him there? She's afraid to breathe. She almost blew it. How? Oh, Joe Perales and I wore masks and we didn't speak a word. There is no way she could identify him. But whoever killed him got to the factory so fast that I think Mrs. Bishop must have had a number to call. Now, suppose those people had gotten there while you were still there. And how are we supposed to know that you'd find out we were taking him to the factory? That's simple. They were protecting their most vital spot. You know how good their security is, or you should know. They can throw more men into this than the department can. Maybe tougher, smarter men. God knows they fail more. What you need is an edge. We can give you that edge. You want me to play it cool with the department, where teamwork and discipline is everything. One slip, and I've had it. You've had it? Look at the stakes. Aren't they worth it? Not if you lose. The organization may or may not know who you are, but they damn well know who I am. And if I'm going to take them on, plus the department, too, I don't want to be depending on six dead amateurs. Then go to hell. We'll do it alone. Hold it, Juan. We've asked for his help. We do need your help, Lieutenant. It's not going to be easy. We never thought it would be. And whoever's seen with me is going to become a target if he isn't already. But assuming we can take care of that, 
nobody, nobody makes a move without checking with me. Okay? Okay. 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 How long were you knocked out? Oh, not long. I saw the guy walking away. Wait, wait. Well, one of our vans is parked over here. He handcuffed me to a tie rod under there. And you saw the car drive in? What car? A car that came in right after the gate was blown. Well, I couldn't see anything from under there. You heard it. Oh, I heard the police cars. Before that. No, sir. I'm taking you in. Yeah, he's dead. Found that car abandoned. So they're checking the reports now. What the hell is this? What sent you after that watchman without telling me? Just a hunch. We were assigned this case as a team, remember? You were busy. Not that busy. Now, Chasman tells me you kept questioning that watchman about a car. What car? Well, it stands to reason there was a car involved somehow. I thought I struck a nerve, so I bore down. And then they got yourself killed. Well, they're not ready to kill cops. What does your hunch tell you about who they are? Why did two people shoot Fish? Were they executing him? What do you mean, Mafia? All right, so they force him to open the vault, then they kill him. Why a formal execution? I don't know. I keep toying with this idea. Someone forced him to open the vault. Then someone else came along and killed him because he did. Someone who could get in and out in four minutes. Someone with a burglar alarm key. Boy, if you're half right, you got one hell of a crystal ball. Lieutenant, there was a safe deposit key in the watchman's body. We just checked with the bank. The watchman was a very rich man. Well, Kelly, you told me the story. You played the market. Wasn't in the bank. It wasn't in the bank. I know. You know, I would take up clothing. Thank you. And I would say, we've all had low offers. How come you have to be a night watchman? For six years, you stay out of low offer to Mr. Bishop. George was loyal. Are you suggesting that he was killed by the same people he was loyal to? Maybe I'm right. Ever since Mr. Bishop was shot, George has been scared. My thoughts don't mean if you got. Well, you must have wondered. Uh, asked him to tell you. Uh, did I ever? I used to hope that he'd talk in his sleep, you know, but nothing. Mrs. Long, did your husband ever give you anything like a phone number? Anything for emergency? Oh, I think of it, you're so stupid. Men can kind of keep something from her for six years. Six years. He must have started as watchman about the same time Bishop killed his wife. I just clean forgot. He made it over a year ago. Here is your phone. Mm -hmm. Operator, this is Lieutenant Tibbs of the police department. Could you monitor this call, please? The number is. Three six two nine two nine six. Nine two nine six. Disconnected. If you remember anything, anything at all, please call us. Who 
for you. Tony? Look who you're supplying. Go screw. You got plenty of bread. Price is no object. Somebody been filling you full of crap. Look, I got no time for games. I'm on a call. Good. Danny here wants a ride. I'll go behind. Look, I told you. I did some pushing when I was in trade school, but none since, and that's no hype. Yeah, but Danny here still wants to ride. Get in. Half a million bucks, Joe. Half a million? You just show up in Washington Square anytime. Night or day. Washington Square. Be there. <laughs> They weren't sure of me about it. I could tell. If I show up at Washington Square, they know. So you want us to take a vote? I don't know. I don't know. These guys don't screw around, you know? That guy starts to see. Man, who wouldn't see? It's But this is a much better deal than anything we planned, Joe. Don't you see that? Maybe I'm being brave because I'm not the one that's on the spot. No, no. All right, I'll do it. Yes, I have to. One thing shapes up. Of the shares of Century Outstanding, a fifth are owned by employees, including Bishop and William Martin. The rest are in odd lots held by dummies. At least they're all post office boxes. Who are the directors? Except for the employees, all legitimate businessmen and other fields. <laughs> Century was a front, all right, but they didn't know it. The director's on the employee limit. Well, it's a front for something, or the watchman wouldn't have been in on it. You know damn well, I think it's drugs. I just didn't want to be accused of playing hunches. Well, it's time we called in the narco division. Don't you think that might be a little risky? Well, damn it, they're police officers. We've got to assume they can be trusted. They clammed up pretty good about Grayson's suicide. <laughs> Waiting for my girl. Over an hour. I'll give you a ten minutes, and you wait someplace else. Let's go. So we all know we're talking the same language. Here. Somebody said half a million. You can forget that. Is it all right? How much? Five million. <laughs> hey, out of sight. 
can hand it back now. Give it back. Five million. We drive here for a week. That's all I can say. Nah, I can't say we'd even go there, Joe. So we talk about it again tonight. Huh? Same place. Not me. I'm splitting right out of town. <laughs> splitting out of town. Come on, what kind of trip you want, Joe? The whole world's our town. You can't get off. Look, I'm just a parent who says five million. Pay it or no use to you, in town or out. How much profit for each parents talking to? Ten o'clock tonight. Be there. Well, where's the blue? In the box. I thought you weren't interested in sex. Well, I'm just not interested in lectures. Toy. For me? A, oh, I don't know any girls. Who could that be? A girl? Hey, girl. Who is this? Okay. Okay, I'll get you. What the hell do you guys think you're doing? You're not supposed to make a move without checking with me. And we should never be seen together, any of us. It's like putting your life on the line. I'm sorry, but I felt I had to talk to you. It all happened so fast, Joe getting beat up like that. Then all I get is the picture of their car. We even followed them, but one guy gets out of the fair man, the other just walks away from the car at Van Ness. Stolen, I guess. Everything just fell apart. There's an example. Now, if you had checked with me, I wouldn't have lost them. Perhaps. But now everyone seems kind of, well, so unsure of themselves. I'm afraid. Really afraid for all this. Take it easy. Yes. Take it easy. All right, tell me the rest of it. Well, it's not quite worked out yet, but Joe will be there at 10. Do you expect this little maneuver of yours to get you any closer to the top? There's too much money involved. Someone important will come to make the deal. Not a chance. They will tear Perales to pieces first. Joe can't tell him anything. He doesn't know where the stuff is. Annie, convince the guys that each one of you will wind up at the bottom of the bay if we don't work together. Drop me at the corner of Fremont and call me at the department within the hour. And when you call, here's what I want you to say. Yeah, the corner. Oh, Tibbs, it's for you. Tim, so it. Never mind. Just listen. If you pigs want to solve those murders, be at Washington Square tonight before 10. What murders? Come on. You know. Washington Square. Two men in a car will be picking somebody up. Give me a description. Yes, I'm sorry to haul you out. We can't guarantee this involves narcotics, but we need your manpower. You said you had a tip. How good is it? My division's pretty busy, too, you know. Girl calls. Obviously very, very scared. And she said, I quote, you pigs want to solve those murders, be at Washington Square tonight at 10 o'clock. Two men in a car is going to pick up somebody. That's pretty thin. But I'll spare four men. Yes, sir. What we're hoping is that there'll be others around and you'll be able to spot them for us. If it's narcotics.
Set up. Yeah, yeah. I spotted three or four people hanging around doing nothing for about an hour. Get any pictures? Stimson did. Did you get this one here? He's been here right along. He looks nervous. Uh, Stimson wasn't around when I spotted him. Yep, yeah, we'll get him. Where's Tibbs? Wandering around, I guess. It's 11 o'clock. We haven't got all night. I know. But he's sure something's gonna pop. I think you've been had. I'm gonna pull my men. I don't blame you. We'll stick around for another half hour. I must have spotted one of your pigs from no one would do it my way. Being followed. 457 BJY. You better call homicide. Suppose the captain's gone home by now, huh? That means I don't get hassled at least till tomorrow. Request from the Sausalito Department. The body of a young Japanese female has been found in Sausalito Harbor. No identification. Has any such missing person been reported in your area? Does that mean something to you? I hope not. Attention all units. Our license number XLM349, previously reported in connection with a bandit Ford and ferry terminal, has been picked up in Sausalito and a male suspect detained for questioning. That girl might have been a friend of mine. Let's head for the Sausalito Mall. Fast.
I saw the body. She was tortured, tortured by an expert who enjoyed his work. We have to assume he made a tunnel. I don't believe it. She had more guts than all of us put together. Then why didn't they pick Joe up tonight? He's right. They could come boiling in here any minute. The organization probably doesn't know you've heard yet, which gives you a head start. You mean if Tom? No, not me. After what they did to Annie? If you've been identified, what good are you here? They'll just rip you off, one by one. I still don't believe that she talked. I can't force you to leave. But don't you understand? You've been exposed. You're in the open. You notice that? Hey, I know. This is one of the guys who whipped me over. He hasn't talked yet, but this is a Sausalito case. All we've got is about 24 hours at the outside. Well, keep in touch the same way. It's the middle of the night. And I, what else can I tell you? I, I took the watchman for granted. You ever see any strangers hanging around? No. Anybody who wasn't a stranger? The watchman. You had keys to all the boxes? No, I used only three. But you knew where bishops were. No, I didn't. Where were you when I took the watchman away that day? Are you trying to trip me up? I've explained that already to one of your assistants. Maybe we forgot about that. I was making my daily rounds of the departments. Now, I suppose I could have seen something in the yard, but I didn't. Nor, nor did I make any phone calls at that time. Let me see your burger alarm keys. Why are there locks on each drawer? Well, occasionally people work nights on rush orders. This way we can have the alarms on or off, where and when we want them. But there's no master lock or switch for all the alarm devices. No. It's inconvenient, but it's safer. Okay. Let's have a look. How about the elevator? Does it trip the alarm at each floor? Yes. There's no easy way, if that's what you mean. Now, the stairs are down at that end, right? That's right. All the floors below are above. That's right. Where do you turn on the alarm on this floor? We keep the alarms hidden. Maybe you'll have to move them. Now, where is it? Why so far away from the elevator and the stairs? Well, added security is a theory, I think, but it's a drag. The same on all floors? Pretty much. This is a fake. Now, when you do this, which do you use, elevator or stairs? Well, that depends on how much exercise I think I need. Actually, if you're in shape, the stairs are faster. Let's see what kind of shape you're in. Run, don't walk. That's all. Two minutes, 43 seconds, I'm down. Add another 20 seconds for entering the premises and getting by the first lock. Throw in a couple of minutes for whatever happened here. So it couldn't have happened in four minutes. And there goes your theory that he was executed for opening the vault by someone else with an alarm key. Yeah. Must admit that does complicate theory, doesn't it? Everything's fine. Don't mention it. I needed the exercise. No, man. Tibbs isn't here now. What do you have? Langhorn Construction Company. They've got a tall crane with seven miles clocked on it that they can't count for. Tell me more. I clocked three and one-tenth miles from their yard to that factory. The padlock on that gate hadn't been tampered with. But one of their drivers, a moonlighting preacher named Dave Thomas, worked relief at Langhorn for two weeks last month. And now he's disappeared. Trace to that crane. Don't go near your car. Don't worry. I put it in a friend's garage last night when I moved. Can you reach Joe Perales? Sure, I know where he is. Good. I haven't any details, but the guy who killed Annie made a statement that Joe is trying to unload a million dollars worth of smack. Why would he say that? I don't know. But there's a bullet in for Joe. Now, how do I get to him? Uh, 361B Gorham Street. Good. Are you sure? 
Uh, where to? Right. You? It's Dave again. Joe just called. His place has been spotted. I don't mean the police, the organization. Is it Sheriff? Yeah, you recognize two of them. Joe, what's your hurry? You know we're here to help you. And you know something else? We want you to join us, to become part of the organization. All right, Joe. The boys are waiting. Come on. Jesus, Annie. 
Any ready? In the hundred yard dash. In ten two. Ten two. And me. Memorizing the wire and circuit. I can't get all mixed up. Screw you, James. You better not try to speak. Anybody talk to him? Anybody, you hear? Get the pig out of here! Get the pig out of here! Lieutenant Tiff doesn't want him being questioned. He really isn't rational. Look, Sonny, I'm narcotics, not homicide. Suppose you go find one of those pretty little nurses and pat her on the back. <laughs> Lieutenant, Captain Stacy wants to see you. What's he doing here so late? I don't know, sir. I don't know where it is. Oh, we'll just tag along. God damn it, Tibbs. What have you been up to? Morales still is dust tonight, so you might as well spill yours. I saw Morales tonight. He was in no condition to say anything to her. He was in shock and high on opiates. You didn't want him to say anything, but I did. What else did he say? He talked about hijacking four million dollars worth of heroin. He said you were in him. In what way? He said that you were going to protect them. He used that word, exactly. Protect. He may have said help. It's the same thing. Protect them. Who are they? The Japanese girl, for one, and some guy called Juan. He didn't use any more names, but it was evident there were more. What am I supposed to have done? First, do you admit you know Perales? Yes. You already knew him last night when I pointed him out to you in Washington Square? Yes. You said you were going to have Stimson take a picture of him, did you? We call it off right after that. What else did uh, Morales say about all this heroin? When I asked him where it was, he said he didn't know. Where is it? Well, I'll tell you what I know. You're making every man on this force look lousy. For Christ's sake, have the guts to tell the truth. There's something going on here, and you're not letting in on it. Hold it, Jessup. I don't want to hear more from Coralan. Well, as I said almost from the start, Tibbs suggested theories that were so far out, I wondered how we arrived at them. Now I have to think he knew something he wasn't telling. Are you suggesting he was involved in the murder or murders? No, sir, I cannot believe that. Well, Tibbs? Sir, am I being accused of a crime or of just withholding information from the court? I don't see much difference. Well, if I'm being accused of a crime, I'm entitled to a lawyer in the trial. Because nothing that was said here would stand up in court, and you all know that. When the time comes, we'll be prepared to back it up. And you're suspended. You are not to leave the city, understand? One more thing, Tibbs. I know you've suspected the narcotics division and all those rumors about Captain Grayson. Well, we checked and rechecked, and the only thing we found he was concealing was that he was dying of leukemia. Think that over.
Oh, I slept for a little while. And for once, I don't have to worry about getting up in the morning. Well, it's out of your hands now. Why don't you forget about it and try to get some sleep? Trust you. It's just that uh, I got a chance to make a lieutenant if I keep my nose clean. Well, it's a line of investigation you've already been following. As a matter of fact, it should have been done a long time ago. No, I'll do it. If we'll call, we'll go on. Maybe if we can find a judge who's not too fussy. Good, Leo. Thanks. Look, I'll call you at 3 30. I saw you last. Holy God. Are you still playing calm? Well, that sounds good. I did. Did you ever visit George at work? Oh, once or twice I brought him. I've been hot to eat at night. Did you ever see anyone who might have been a carrier? A delivery van would come back late now and then. We checked timesheets. No one driver ever showed up late more than the others. What about William Martin, the assistant manager? Scoutmaster. I saw him once or twice. Did he drive in? No. Parked on the street and uh, walked into personnel, always with a brief. Then there was this other guy. He used to play gin with George. Pete, Pete or Jimmy. Did he ever carry anything? Don't you remember anything about Ossini? He worked at a gas station. He used to come over after it closed. All right. Would you let me have all the sympathy cards you've received, please? Sure. But I don't have anything uh, from Peter Orsini. 50 shares June 1st, 69. 50 shares June 15th, 70. Wow, 100. March 15th, 71. What does that make? 310 auto. Right, all in different names. Now, this accounts for seven dummy stockholders and about 7% of the outstanding shares. Well, there were also a lot of other securities. Good, Leo, good. But don't go any further than surveillance right now or it'll blow the whole thing. Speak to Benji. Tell him it's Juan. Hey, Benji! What? Somebody. Somebody. Somebody who? His name's Juan. Uh, come on, Sally, get to work. Come, who'd you be? Yeah. Yeah, it's Benji. Okay, now listen, Benji. I was in on the deal with Joe Perales. I have the stuff. You son of a bitch. You dumb son of a bitch. You, you know, you screw things up for all of us. I know, I know. But I wasn't aiming at you, Benji. Besides, you're gonna look good if you're the one who makes the deal. What about Joe Perales? He was playing footsie, too. How do I know what crap you're giving me? Oh, come on. Would I come out into the open, even with you, if I wasn't ready to make a deal? I know we had a lot of crazy ideas, but now I have the cops to worry about. Yeah. Okay, what's the deal? 500,000, and you keep me out of it. <laughs> what are you, crazy? You know I can't talk money like that. I'll call you back. What's your number? Uh, uh, wait. I'll call you back in half an hour. Now, listen. The exchange has to be only between you and me. Okay, where? How about Turk and Mason? No, 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 no back alleys for me. Post and market. Post and market? How the hell high are you? Well, I got taste and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, we can, uh, we can work that out when I get the okay. If I get the okay, huh? Yeah. Son of a bitch.
Five Stars Company? Mr. Vincenti? One moment, please. Thank you. Hey, Benji. That's very interesting. Uh, we'd like it better than Douglas Spur, Mr. Johnson, but I'm not so sure we'd be competitive on the rest of it. Excuse me a moment. Lenny. Oh, uh, hold it a second. Mr. Johnson, would you um, excuse me a moment? Uh, a friend with a little problem. It had to go through channels, Zach. Now, we don't have too much time for a decision. Only half? He's playing it pretty close to the vest. The post and market is a hell of a public place. I like it, though. But this means real money if we're going to get the other half. Have we got that much in cash? Now, Larry says we do, and I'm not too worried about it, Zach, since there's another shipment due in. Now, what do you say? Well, as long as we know the bastard, we're bound to get it back. Okay. I knew we'd sweat him out, Larry. On my way.
First, that leg needs some attention. I've got some spray stuff. I got to connect some guys to Sentry Furniture. You might have seen them there. Okay, come on, sit down. God, that's the logo. I can't get the camera. You're going to need a doctor. Gloria, did you ever make the rounds of the building with George? Yeah, now and then. I could use a drink. The murderer's got to the top floor and down again in four minutes. It can't be done. After switching those alarms. Now, is there some gimmick that I don't know about? Not that I know of. Unless somebody else took care of the alarms huh? and then walked out of the personnel gate after the patrol cars got there. Maybe the carrier who regularly brought the junk to the factory. That would account for him having the alarm key. Well, then what would stop this guy from uh, being the murderer? Nothing. Except I'd like to hook somebody bigger. And I'd hate to accuse you if you didn't do it. What the Christ did you just say? Who would make a better carrier than you? Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really had me going. Did I? Gloria, why do you own 7% of Century Furniture? Under dummy names. Look at you bastard. I told... I told you that George gave me sock. I also told you that we were very rich. But you're even richer than George. Hello, Mrs. Morgan. I'm looking for tips. Which 
check the license your friend Mendoza gave us. The car belongs to a corporation controlled by the Easter Branch. Mendoza has good instincts. But he finally got to the top. You know them, don't you, Dad? Personally, no. These guys are always in the paper. Of course you know them. You were making a delivery to the ball that night when all hell broke loose. Where did you duck? In the ladies' room? This guy will help me. You were there when the killers arrived. You turned the alarm back on when they left. Identify them, Gloria. It's your only chance to beat a murder rap yourself. Where have you got here? I want a lawyer. A lawyer? The organization will wipe you out like they did your husband to keep these guys in the clear. Any public defender could beat this. I don't think so. Been under surveillance since your sentry stock was found. You knew a big shipment would be coming in. Identify him, Gloria. I hope you don't come out of it smelling like a rose. Identify him, Gloria. All right. Bob Alford, Zach Mills. They were there that night. After the explosion, I heard their car come in. I came out of the john in time to see them coming up the hall. Honest to God, I didn't know what they meant to do. But... Before I knew what was happening, Bob and Zach, they shot Bishop.